All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with the Libra Julian Fernandez with a little bit of help from Carlos Estevez as well. Would anyone like to start off here? Patrick Saunders, go ahead. Hey, Julian, uh, Patrick Saunders from the Denver Post. Um, if you could tell us, what was your, uh, your mentality, your mood going out there for your big league debut? Did you feel a lot of nerves or did it feel like a normal game to you? Él dice que cuál fue el approach para tú salir a a pichar el día de hoy. Está nervioso que tú estabas pensando. Yo solamente pensé en mi abuelo y la promesa que le hice y le pedí fuerza y le dije vamos mi viejo vamos para arriba que yo me voy a hacer por ti. He said at the moment he was just not thinking anything else but uh, about his grandpa, the promise he made to him that he was going to pitch in the big leagues and he just was like got this train let's let's go for it. You, you hit, I think it was a hundred and over 102 miles an hour today, but it looks like the ball comes out of your hand easy. Uh, how long have you been able to, to throw it that hard, uh, yet be able to locate it as well as you were today? Is that something you've been able to do for quite some time? Él dice que hoy tú tiraste 102 y pico. Él dice que cuánto tiempo tú tienes tirando esa velocidad y localizándola bien como lo hiciste hoy. Um, he said when he, when he was uh, 19, turning 20, he was in Boise, which was like short season for us. He was he was throwing that velo already. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, we'll go to Thomas Harding and then finish up with Nick Roke. Thomas? Yes, Julian, when you... When you're throwing out there, do you turn around and look at the um, scoreboard to see if you're over 100, or do you know it when it's Él dice que cuando estaba pichando, que si tú volteas a mirar si estaba tirando 100 o que si tú lo sabías ya. He said he knew it already because he knows he throws over 100, and uh, like he knew he had it. Okay. Um, the, the last pitch uh, that, that Riley hit, um, he kind of take me through that, um, you know, did you know when it left your hand that maybe it wasn't in the spot? Él dice que el último picheo, el que tiene el corrón, que lo, que lo lleve a través del turno, que tú crees que fue buen picheo o mal picheo, ¿qué pasó? Que fue mal picheo porque lo dejaste en chico. He's saying that he thinks he... It was, a, it was a bad pitch. He missed his spot. Uh, he went fastball in and then he went change it, but he left it like middle and uh, he didn't want to go there. Last one for me. You threw one inning, then came back out to throw the second inning. Um, did you, are you used to that very often? Uh, you know, sitting down and coming back in? Que tú tiraste un inning y después saliste para otro, que si tú estás acostumbrado a eso, que es algo que tú estás empezando a hacer de nuevo. Uh, he's saying uh, he's he's not used to it. He's just doing it again for a long time. Like he he has been a long time. He didn't do it, but he's he, he was just ready anyways. Okay, thank you very much, Nick Rook. You see, I see quite uh, a rough here, but um, <laughs> 102 miles an hour. Um, I know it's your first game. How much of that was the excitement of your first game? And how much was just comfortable normalness? Él dice que tiraste 102 y esto fue el juego. Que qué tan bien tú te sientes, que tan cómodo, que si estás un poquito nervioso o algo. No, todavía no. He said uh, he's not going to say no. He was not nervous, but uh, he had he had the butterflies, but uh, he was still able to manage and uh, his villa was there. That's a good thing. Yeah, so I mean, is that your is that your normal, or was that your like first game extra strength? Él está preguntando que si esa era tu velocidad normal o que si es fue fuerza extra, digo por la adrenalina. Velocidad normal, estamos tirando todo el tiempo. He said that's that's normal, really. He was throwing that in double A and then in triple A too, so he's he's got it in the tank. Gotcha. Uh, Carlos shaking his head at my question, but that's okay. The uh, 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 one last one. Um, you know, pitchers talk about uh, you know the difference between pitching and throwing. 
Um, did you feel like you were letting it loose and and just throwing, or or uh, you know, are you going to have to sort of hone in on on the pitching a little bit? Does that make sense? Eh, él dijo que tú sabes que hay una diferencia entre tirar pelota y ser un pitch. ¿En qué tú te sentiste? ¿Te sentiste que estaba tirando para allá o que estaba haciendo tu pitch también? Estaba haciendo mi pitch. Okay. He's saying that he he felt like he was he was pitching, but uh, even though he he missed some spots, uh, he acknowledged he missed, and uh, that's that's what I think is like it means with pitching. Awesome. Thank you, Buff. Well, All right, couple of follow-ups. Patrick, do you have a follow-up here? I do. This one's for Carlos. Uh, Carlos, why are you so amused by all the questions about velocity? <laughs> I mean, I, I started seeing him when I was just signed with the Rockets. I was 18. And uh, when he was around, yeah, he's three years younger than me. And uh, when he signed over there, I was already on the States. And he told me, hey, when I'm 18, I want to throw 100 like you guys. And uh, I mean, he went over it. Uh, and I, I, I'm not abused. Because uh, the questions is just like I know he's been throwing that hard for a long time. Okay, just you're cra you're cracking me up. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay, Thomas Harding. 